guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to do our April homeschool update. So yes, I have decided to go ahead and do monthly updates since we weren't really doing much um, on a week to week basis. So I found it hard to do those and keep up with those and um, tell you everything that we're doing because it just seems so um, mundane and all that jazz. So anyway, let me get right into it. So this is not a very long winded video. So I thought I would show you what we do for science, though I must admit that science sometimes take a back seat when the day gets really busy with the kids. Um, kids not listening, the homeschool morning is going way longer than it needs to be and all that jazz sometimes um, science just yeah gets put on the back burner. We do mystery and marvels of nature and it's a really good book the kids um the kids have enjoyed it. I should tell you what week we're in. We're in week 31 right now as I'm doing this video. This is filmed on um, May 3rd. So we are in week 31. Yeah, we only have five more weeks to go. <laughs> we're excited. I'm excited because I need a break. Although we don't completely stop school in the summer, we just take it really slow and really light. And so we're looking forward to that. I'm so excited. Um, for, this is what we're doing for social studies. I thought I'll show you some of the things we are doing. We are doing um, we are doing Canada My Country for social studies. And instead of having the, the kids do like a lot of worksheets, we've been doing lap books. And this helps them remember some of the things. So some of the things we've studied so far this year is the Arctic and um, this is just one of the sheets they've been doing. They've been coloring the money with um, pencils but yeah we've been doing symbols of Canada and um, other things we've studied are the planes um, what else? Oh, they've been learning. Um, they've been learning the provinces of Canada. So this is a really, <clears throat> a really neat lap book that um, helps them to remember easier to me, like things that we've learned and studied so far. We're still doing um, this read aloud. <laughs> It's really good. Like I mentioned last month, it's a really good read aloud. But um, yeah, life happens, and sometimes um, for me, I haven't really had a lot of um, opportunity to read this. But I mean, I had opportunity, but I was really tired with having um, diabetes and just struggling through the fatigue that I have. Sometimes it's a struggle, just being real. <laughs> but um, yeah, hopefully we finish it soon so we can move on to some of our other read alongs. Um, this is the first time it's our read alongs have really gotten away from us. So we're trying to pick it up again and to stick with it. <laughs> okay, Erica is reading Little House on the Perry, and like I mentioned, Kaylee's in chapter books, and this one is Ivy and Bean. Now this book, I know how I feel about this book. I don't really, the, the story is cute and nice, but there's some things in it that I don't necessarily like, necessarily like, the, the, the little girl is, um, pretending to be a witch or wants to be a witch but um, you can I have um, you can have discussion with your child and you know like the things that you believe in what's not but 
overall it's a really cute book and Kaylee's enjoying it um the character being in the story she's hilarious <laughs> so apart from the other the other stuff um I mean the book is a hilarious read even as she read as we read it all together this book well she reads I listen and I help her with um to remember her songs for the bigger words that she have not mastered yet but she's really enjoying this book. Kaylee has come far right guys from a child not knowing um, her letters recognizing her letters to reading chapter books and she's doing excellent in her um, second grade curriculum because remember I think it was after Christmas break that she moved to second grade and she's doing excellent I'm so proud of her with her spelling um, her grandma and now she's now there we're now introducing writing to her writing stories and all that stuff so she's doing excellent she really really enjoys English she enjoys math. She's doing wonderful. I'm so proud of how far she's come and what she's doing, how that goes. Also, another read aloud that we finish this month is um, Listening to cr Crickets. This is actually, this was actually one of our science readers. So we managed to finish this one. It was really good. Um, and I do recommend it. It's it's a um, biography about Rachel Carson. So, yeah, it was really good. We enjoyed it. That Micaiah is doing really good now. He's um, sitting down and actually doing some school. But because his sister is doing it with him, Naomi, like she is really smart. She loves school. She's she goes and sit down. I'm ready for my school. Now. So she's doing good. I have a clip that I took of them that I'll probably include right here. she does although he's <laughs> although he's two years older than she is he's five now and she's going to be three in August but she loves to learn when I tell you she loves to learn she loves to learn when we're finished school she's like more school now and she wants to do over the books that I have for her that I printed I should have brought them but Next time, I will bring them. Because we're doing the, a the ABC and the sounds of the letters because that's how I taught Kelly to read. And that's the way that helped her the most. Let me say thank you to our new, all our new subscribers. Thank you for joining our family on this journey. And welcome. And thank you for all the ones that <clears throat> are supporting me and um, yeah, like, shout out to, uh, I think it's Mummy's Day, shout out to Mummy's Day, she's always commenting on my videos and giving me support, and hi girl, thank you so much for watching, <laughs> yes, and um, so thank you to all the, the, the people that's been watching and supporting us for a long time, thank you. Another exciting thing that happened in the month of April is that I celebrated my 40th birthday. I'm 40, guys. I can't believe it, but I'm thankful and grateful to God for allowing me to see my 40th birthday. They say life begins at 40, but I don't know because I'll be living. <laughs> I'll be living before I, 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 I reach 40, but they say life begins at 40, so we'll see. So far, I'm enjoying my 40s. <laughs> I, we did take a few clips um, on my birthday, not much of a vlog, 
but we did do a few clips and if um so i might add it on to this so you guys can see how we celebrated my birthday or um i'll do a separate video i'm not sure but anyway this camera battery is flashing at me so before it goes out let me say thank you so much for watching and tuning in with us if you enjoyed the video give it a like a comment and please subscribe um thank you bye guys look what i just got for my birthday and it's so beautiful it's yeah. mommy balloons yeah favorite. they're my balloon my favorite color thank This is from you, Yomi. Oh, it's a bath bomb. It's a bath bomb. I don't already daddy gave me money so I can buy whatever I want and of course I bought nail stuff <laughs> oh white tea it's a bath soap soak oh I'm gonna have to be having lots of bath guys eh? thank you you're welcome so pretty everybody give mommy a kiss bud you're missing out bud Good evening, guys. Um, I wanted to vlog today, but I didn't. <laughs> I was doing my kids' hair and all that stuff, but it's my birthday. I'm 40 today, and um, whatever, Shug. Yeah. So I'm 40 today. Hi. I don't feel like 40. I still feel like. I'm in my 20s sometimes, but most of the time. And yeah, it's, I'm feel, I feel so blessed and so um, thankful to the Lord for allowing me to <clears throat> reach this milestone in my life. Life has not always been a bed of roses, but um, I have so many things to be thankful for one right there and um four little faces in the back those are my blessings and i'm thankful and grateful to the lord for them i got your means